Hey guys, it's Lou. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. So today I am filming my update to the Fart in the Sun project pan. This was started by Alex over on One Beauty Addict. Of course, I will have her linked down below, but there is also a playlist of all the videos and people involved in this project. So that also will be down below. But this was a project that Alex did start for sort of celebrating the sun, I guess summer. The funny part is that I am in Australia, so it is winter here. <laughs> it is cold, but I thought I would pick items that reminded me of summer, made me think of summer, and maybe would just warm it up a little bit for me. So I've decided to join anyway. So I have picked seven items. We're going to run through with updates on my seven items and how I'm going. I have not finished or hit goal in any of them just yet, but I'm just going to keep going and see how I go. So we'll start with the first one, which was a fragrance. This is from Bath & Body Works. It's in Mango Mandarin because it smells sort of summery. So that is where we're up to just there. I have been using this quite a lot sprayed around my room. Um, I use these just as room sprays to freshen it up a little bit. But I really enjoy this scent and it really is giving me a throwback to summer. So it's working. So I'm just going to keep using this one. Uh, this project ends, I should have mentioned, on the 2nd of September. So we still got a month to go. So I'm just going to keep working away at this one. My next item is another spray. This is from Urban Decay. It's the All Nighter Setting Spray. It's in the cherry scent though. Because here in Australia, I'm not sure around the world, <laughs> um, Summer is Christmas and we celebrate with cherries and other fruits, but cherries are a summer fruit for us. So this one I can't show you where it's up to, but I can tell you I've been using it every single time I do my makeup for this month since we started this project and it is definitely getting down there. I would say I have like a quarter of it to go. So this one I would predict will be done by the end of this project, which is exciting. Uh, next thing I picked was for scent as well. This is a fragranced foundation, I guess you could call it, from Too Faced. This is the Peach Perfect. That's it there. You can see how super thin this is. Again, I have been using this every time I've done my makeup, but like maybe one or two times in the last month. Uh, it is translucent, the packaging. Like I can actually see through it when I hold it up to the lights. So it is literally down to there. That's how much we've got to go, basically. Um, this one, I've got another foundation that I'm working on, but we'll see how we go. Hopefully, I will have this finished off. Uh, some more face products. So I picked a bronzer because, to me, summer is sort of like bronzy skin. And this is from The Balm. It's the Take Home The Bronze bronzer. I have mine in the shade Oscar, which I believe has a different name now. That's where we're up to. So when we started, I only had, like, a little bit of pan in the middle, so I have expanded it. And it is quite thin, sort of around that pan there. I have been using this, again, pretty much every day. So we'll see how we go with this one. Another face product is from Colourpop. This is a Super Shock Cheek in Off Tropic. It's a highlighter. Uh, that's it there. So the dip has got quite deep now. That pan was already there, but it has expanded a little bit and there is quite a large dip around that edge now. It is what I have on my cheeks today. It's just a really nice, I wouldn't say subtle, but it's also not blinding. So it's sort of in between sort of glow. Um, I really enjoy it and it sort of works every day with me. So I've really liked that one. And the next two are, I guess, lip related. Lip related. This one's from Soap and Glory. It's the Melty Talented Balm. So it says here you can use it for dry lips, hair tips, elbows, knees, and cuticles. I do mainly just use this on my lips. That's it there. I haven't used a whole great deal of this, if we're being honest, because it just sits at home. I don't carry this around with me. I think it's a bit bulky. And I do have a lip balm in my purse. So I've used it a little bit. I'm going to try to focus a little bit more on it this coming month. Same with this one. This is a lip scrub from Jeffree Star. This one is the Rainbow Sherbet. It's from his summer range last year, so I sort of thought, you know, summer. I have been using it. You can see, like, I've dug in there. Um, so I have been using it. I've been really enjoying it. I love his lip scrubs, so this is not a difficult thing for me to use. Um, I've really been enjoying it. So all of my seven items have progress on them. No targets hit just yet, but I am enjoying all seven of them, and they are reminding me of summer. 
So I'm really enjoying this project pan. Please look down below for the playlist, jump across to everyone's channels and say hi from me and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.